And we're down here in Venice Beach, California. You can see the uh, famous Venice sign right there. Got a storefront here. I look inside. There's a rooster right there. Can't wait to meet this guy. Man, you know, like, but the fire was so motivating. The glass was so motivating. I had so much. Aronka. Uh, you know, it's like, I just, I'm making glass for mental freedom. We'll just open the fire and make it fun. Yeah. This is called flashing. They love the fire, yeah, okay. This is flashing. <laughs> We're just gonna warm this piece of glass up okay. from room temperature. Heating the body is what I'm doing now. There we go. The glass is hot now. Yeah. We're almost at molten temperature. So we're gonna close the end. You know, here's a Venetian technique here to jack the wall down. Yeah. yeah. And again, most glass blowers in this move right here, closing the tube, we just peel the glass off and throw it away. And, you know, it just, it's nice. Hence the Sherlock. Oh yeah. But it's got this really organic kind of Amazon crazy flower vibe. You've been doing this for 30 years. 30. The crack in the door about this big in the garage door. I kept seeing this number, you know? I'm like, what the hell is going on over there, you know? And like a moth to a flame, man. It was <laughs> fire in the glass. And the sure, garage. sure. That's why like, people love it. Um, and they're in there just <laughs> cooking metal, silver, and 24 karat gold. Pure metals and clear glass. So I've got a little of that DB shaped silver here in my okay. piece of glass. Yeah. Warm it up slowly so I don't break it. Yep. And now that my body is nice and warm, I'm going to transfer that silver and change the color of my uh, my material here. You now, if you see my glass, it's almost yellow. Yeah. Light saffron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're going to go for this shape here in the window. Okay. This is our shape we're shooting for. Okay. And this is our base derivative. Me out. I'm going through a bunch of shit and learning to use that little bit of buck to get 40, 80 miles down the road to get a piece of glass to hopefully not break it and get in that damn oven and down to the fucking retailer so I can make a dollar, dude. Just right. survive and feed myself, dude. Yeah. You know? That's that's some powerful motivation. Pretty intense being 17 years old. Yeah, no shit. You know? And, um, man, you know, like, but the fire was so motivating. The glass was so motivating. I had so much. But being able to find this. I'm playing with fire here. Yeah. Thousands of degrees. Explosive gases. I'm putting my life on the line. To make something beautiful. To make something for somebody that I don't even know. Or just to make something for myself because I'm, I, I, I need to do this, you know? If I would. Also, anybody that sees this channel that picks up glass blowing, that wants to learn how to make glass or teaches himself how to make glass, like myself, I'm self-taught. You see it, you do it, you'll do it, you'll figure it out. Or better, come and take a class from Ernie. Oh, there you go. Yeah, butter knife. <laughs> Where can they take a class? Right here at Venice Glassworks. 15, so they can come right here? Yeah, 1513 Pacific Avenue, Venice. Perfect. The fa that famous Venice sign. Perfect. And then we do uh, more larger scale work in the warehouse, not far from here. A little more heat. Hello, to the sun. It is a Buddha. <laughs> That's very cool. It's pretty good. I just saw it. Look at the little body on the head. Yeah, it's cool. I'm gonna make a fat little Buddha belly. Oh, nice. I'm gonna nice. squat him over and okay. make him look down at his belly. Okay. And sit it, possibly. Give him a little puff. Hey, look at this here. I can even flatten his back. All right? Yep. I'll heat the belly. Oh, look at that. And I get a big fat Buddha belly. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Now I'll heat the neck. Oh, yeah. Super cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
So where do you sell most of your crafts? Pretty much here in the shop. Okay. I'm here. If you want to buy glass, come and see me. Gotcha. Find me on Glassworks, Dennis Glassworks, or yep, yep. my contacts there, or Ernie Glass on Instagram. But you know, it's like, I just, I'm making glass for mental freedom. I'll yeah. tell you my life story in like three minutes. <laughs> okay. I, 23 years old, I was losing my mind. I gave everything I owned away, except my dog, my djembe, which is an African drum from out of Kenya. I filled my drum up with clothes, like a backpack, and I walked from Salem, Oregon to Portland. Wow. Then I got a ride. I gave my dog away to this dude named Levi to Seattle. And I went to Seattle, and I got a bus ride from Seattle to Tennessee. My girl gave me a ride from Tennessee to Texas, dropped me off there. I hitched it from Texas to Long Beach. I don't know, man. It just wasn't the place for me. His face turned out great. Yeah, it's super cool. Oh, that's money. You little, definitely know your craft. Little flash there, okay. Super cool. Look at the little Buddha, dude, in full prayer to the sun god. That's sick. Yeah, that's cool. I'll give you this, too. <laughs> I'll give you both these pieces of glass. They're yours. Oh. Just use them, make them look good. Okay, so just finished up my interview with Venice Glassworks and Ernie from Venice Glassworks. Made me this little piece. Such a cool guy, great story, loves his community, building his community. Been through some stuff, but making beautiful art for the world and uh, wish him the best. Hopefully we'll uh, do another one with Ernie in the future. So that's a wrap.